race car and just flex out hard flex out so hard Starbo josh here got a video uh coming at you i've got project 815 this is a youtuber and he has a mini jeep but he's only got like eight to 15 videos primarily mini jeep videos and uh he came onto one of my videos told me to check out his channel i think he told me he even subscribed so upon checking out his videos i saw a guy who liked his video and mentioned doing Mini Jeep versus quad, and why we chose to do these because I have a quad of 50cc. So, I'm primarily an auto vlog channel. Got the Corvette V8 Turbo RX7. Also, have a Gravedigger. Haven't done videos on that. The C8 Corvette's got an unboxing video. My turbocharged V right over there. But the Mini Jeep is the video for today. Now, I'm going to do some slight comparison on this versus like a mini quad. We have a 50cc mini quad we got for the kids a long time ago from powersportsmax.com it was only like 359 for the atv but it was automatic and uh i think it was like 150 to freight ship it on a semi to our house so i'm going to cover a few of the details on why we think this is a way better unit than a mini quad for a kid so first things first um the mini jeep versus the quad or the yeah the mini jeep versus the quad so with a quad i just think it's a little bit more dangerous um my kids like any other kids or most kids, not all kids, after riding something, we'll get a lot more comfortable on it, a lot crazier over time. They will go faster. They'll want to turn sharper. And they're kids. They're not really exposed to the dangers of crashing and stuff until that thing actually happens. So they will usually go more reckless until a worst case scenario happens. That being said, um, my son, Anthony, who's done the loading of the mini Jeep onto the back of the truck, we've got a video for that. He also drove the mini Jeep off-road when we did the off-road video. He was driving with his sister, and they both had their gear on. They were out driving while I was at work and somehow managed to flip and roll the 50cc ATV. When I heard this after coming home, I was like, oh, my gosh. But the kids were totally fine. No scratches, no damage to their bodies. They, weren't, they didn't have, like, a crazy story to tell me about it. But they did manage to crack, like, the little arm that the spindle for the wheel bolts to. That was cracked outward, which I found interesting. The four-wheeler took more damage than my human children did. So first off is safety. So even with one child at 30 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, they could turn at the wrong speed or turn too sharp and they can flip it very fast. So safety is definitely not as insured on a mini quad as it is the Jeep. Um, not only safe, because I mean, my, uh, Anthony's been on this thing at 20, 25 miles an hour. And even if he turned it sharp, it wouldn't flip. It's too heavy. I mean, I'm sure I could get it to flip if I like, got super reckless but safety is one occupancy is the other so with this particular unit like i can drive it i can have another kid in the middle in between me and my son we can fit three people on the booth seat and even when we want to go crazier and take kids from around the neighborhood like my my kids friends i can literally sit on the hood and hold on to these mirrors and i'm totally satisfied it's not dangerous they can't slam on the brakes hard enough for me to fall off and three kids can still ride on the booth seat while I sit up front. So that's four people on top of the kids all being seat belted in. And you just can't do that with a quad. Granted, with the quad, you can ride three deep with someone on the back and someone on the front and someone riding it. But it's a lot more dangerous. And the kid on the back has to have a lot more attention to detail on how they're holding the back rack to make sure they don't fall off the back of the four-wheeler. Which, either way, three kids on a 50cc ATV is dangerous. Even though my daughter even rides up to a 300cc with her mom at like a place called Bogs and Boulders, where it's like acres and acres and acres of like mud style land. But those are obviously a little bit more dangerous. But I'm going to compare this to like a kid's quad. And uh, the other thing I didn't really like is with the 50cc, it's purely automatic. It's just one gear. And if I were to sit on it and drive with my son, it takes a lot more clutch and movement and engine to get us moving forward nevertheless since i've gotten the mini quad i've had to put three different clutches in it now the clutches aren't hard to do at all they can be finicky to get off if they're kind of seized on but anybody mechanically inclined can figure that out and i have um they obviously you probably wouldn't have to replace the clutch if you just let the kids ride it and you didn't put a lot of weight on it like me plus a child but i'm a dad and my son was like one when we first got it my first son or my last son so to speak my youngest son and um yeah i ended up burning through a lot of clutches just because we put a lot of weight on it 
It doesn't pull worth a hoot because it's just meant to move a child. It's not a semi-automatic with a, a one, two, or three speed. Well, I've never seen a semi-automatic one speed, but a semi-automatic like three speed is way better because the clutches don't slip and once it gets going, it's going. You can haul stuff around the yard. So this actually replaced the Katzuma uh, Meerkat 50cc semi-automatic three speed. I loved it. We had it for years before it kind of just kicked the dust and I left it out in the yard. It rusted. Blah, blah, blah. Just kind of gave up on it. And uh, that thing would haul anything. Like, I could literally hook up, like, seven trash cans. And it would pull it no problem in first gear. It would climb crazy hills. I could go mudding with it. As long as the intake didn't get submerged underwater. And, um, uh, again, with the 50cc Meerkat that was a semi-auto three-speed, since it didn't really have a lot of limitations on what it could pull. I mean, you can't pull a car. I mean, you probably could pull a car with the car in neutral. But you can only pull so much before you start slipping the clutch on the mirror cat just because it's not a tractor. It's just a 50cc. But its capabilities to me were mind-blowing. I took it down the road to the gas station. I pulled stuff around the yard, cut up logs when I was cutting down trees. Any weight around the yard that you would use like a riding lawnmower for, the mirror cat would be no problem. So does this. I like this because it's a 125cc it's also a semi-auto three-speed, which means it doesn't have a clutch. And when you want to do gears, you just pop it downward to go to second and third, and you pop it up to go down gearing and go to neutral. And uh, you can literally pull anything with it. You can attach wagons. It's got a little tow hitch right there. We have hooked several things to. We actually have like a multi-wall that's take-offable wagon that we got from Lowe's that we would often just run a screwdriver with the handle through that little tailgate thing down there that little hitch and i could pull them and i could pull five kids in the wagon put three kids on the actual mini jeep pull it no problem at all you can haul like five wheelbarrows full of weight and then some with this you can definitely hook this up to my truck leave my truck in neutral and it will legitimately pull my truck no problem at all without even workhorsing and uh you know with three gears it's got a lot of speed as well it goes plenty fast for the size that it is yeah some of the big things are safety they're a lot safer on this than they are a mini quad or even up to like a 125 cc atv now everybody's got their preferences there's a lot of kids out there whose families are about riding so they're just quad people in general not every kid's gonna love this more than a quad that'll be your decision because it's based off you know how energetic or how hype or like how adventurous your kid is but my kids love this and my kids aren't really all about the supercross and motocross even though anthony wants a dirt bike i'm an hoa so we really can't consider a dirt bike right now because i already consider it kind of pushing the limits to even drive this thing around here even though people drive golf carts in this neighborhood and what have you and stuff like that um the fact that it's street legal like this is like I paid seventeen hundred bucks on this off this for Facebook, and uh, with a mini quad, yeah, it's only like four hundred bucks. But you get a lot more usability with this versus a mini quad. And the only thing comparable up to that would be like a one twenty five ATV. But then when you're talking about Polaris brands, Yamaha, Honda, you're literally talking about the same amount for a quad as you are the mini Jeep. When the mini Jeep can do so much more. And uh, no limitations. This thing's got a paper title. I covered that in my review video. It's got functioning bubble blinkers. The headlights work. And they are run off their own power streams so they don't die out when the engine's idling low. I've ran the light bar off of the headlight power setup so the light bar works just fine. It's got wheel well lights in it that look really cool. You know, it's mostly like a big truck thing with like rims. People lighting up their wheel wells with LED lights. So when you see this thing lit up going down the street at night, it is truly cool. So as far as like nifty, cool, like unseen, you know, anytime a kid sees this thing here in the neighborhood, they're like, oh my God. And you just really can't get that with a quad. I mean, yeah, some kids will stare from afar and be a little jealous that they don't have a quad, but this will give more of an effect on anything that sees it versus adults and kids, whatever the nature is. What? I guess. Might as well. I haven't eaten it. You better love me. You're welcome. I love you too. Back at it. Um, yeah, it's fully street legal. I could title this thing if I want to. I can go down the road. And even if a cop wanted to try me, he'd probably be more fascinated by the mini Jeep than he would be like, you can't drive this four-wheeler to the gas station. Bleh. So there's just so many things about it to me that are cooler. You can do way more in the yard as a utility vehicle with this versus a quad. And overall, I can get three times more use out of this than I could a kid's quad. 
and it's just versatile in so many ways. And again, cost, you know, like uh, for instance, a Polaris model or brand 50cc kids ATV literally goes for an average around here on Facebook from like a thousand to sixteen hundred dollars, which is why I got my China quad off of powersportsmax.com because I refuse to pay $1,000 to $1,500 for a 50cc Polaris model when you can get an equivalent style China brand quad that's automatic as well for $300. It just goes to show you how much it really costs Polaris or Honda to make their 50cc quads, but they're charging you for the brand name. You're paying for Yamaha like you pay for a Nike pair of shoes when you can get similar comfortable shoes from Walmart for 10 bucks. So those are some other things. I'm a budgeter guy, and I truly believe in making your money go as far as you can. So in my opinion, I literally got this for maybe a couple hundred bucks more than I would have paid for a 50cc Polaris. And even a 50cc Polaris, I've never seen one with racks on the front that kids can sit on or for carrying stuff like a toolbox or racks on the back. It looks more like a quad versus an ATV. And also doesn't have back racks. And now the China ATV wasn't that way. It had a back rack and a front rack. So you can have people sit on the front of them, but I would not recommend it for safety because all it takes is one bad move, bad turn, bad braking for a kid to fall off and get run over. And it's just all bad from there. So that's another aspect I think I should cover is that for 1700 bucks for this thing being street legal, three speeds, got LEDs everywhere. You know, the kids love it. I've never seen a child that is not impressed by this thing. So in my opinion, it's a no brainer that there's so many reasons why we chose not to get another quad over this mini Jeep when I found this mini Jeep on a whim. But that was how cool of a deal it was and how decent of a deal. I thought it was 1700 bucks. I didn't hesitate to negotiate them down a little bit and take off and go get it, threw it in the back of the truck and brought her home. And we've had it for about a year now. Um, haven't really had any issues. Some typical carburetor issues like, you know, sometimes the... Uh, Fuel will come out of the overflow fuel line, and that's because the float sticks. So you just give the carburetor a little tap, and it usually will unstick it and solve that problem for you. But you can tell when that happens because you can smell gas. But with a China carburetor that you can't even take apart, it's one sealed unit. It's not shocking that that may happen. As long as you know what to do, it's not the end of the world. So another thing to cover is that the China ATVs, they do have headlights on them, but they are not bright at all. They are definitely not as bright as these, even though these could be better. These are at least brighter. And even with the Polaris or Honda style quad versions, which a quad means that the skin, like the body for it, is a lot more slender and looks a little bit more race version. And uh, I've never seen taillights or headlights on a Polaris model, but on the China ATVs, yes. Even on my China ATV, it actually doesn't have a brake light. It just has a red reflector on the back. And this one does have brake lights and turn signals. And it blinks and makes noises like beeps at you when the turn signal's on. This one also has a horn in case the kids need to honk at somebody if they feel in danger. A quad does not. So safety-wise, again, it's just hitting the nail right on the head for me. Another thing to consider is that imagine you pull this up on the internet on Facebook and a quad. Chances are your kid's going to be way more fascinated by this. They're going to want this over a quad. So a lot of times I go to buy toys. I will straight give my kids the option versus just surprising them. Because if you're going to spend this type of money, you might as well have your kid's input involved. And you know, see what really tickles their fancy. So you make sure you get the best product for their imagination or their excitement or their futuristic daydreams that you can for the money. If you want to see any videos of this thing driving, we have plenty. We have an off-road video, the LED light bar upgrade video. We have a wide open video where we go as fast as we can with it. Uh, we have loading this thing onto the pickup truck so you can get an idea of what that entails. We've got probably a good seven videos up of this right now, and I'm going to start shooting with it a lot more frequently now that we're finally moved into the new house and I finally got the Corvette back. So, yeah, I hope this answers some questions for you. I thought the idea of doing a quad versus mini Jeep video was a great idea. Um, if you have any more questions or anything, I'm kind of shooting this video on the fly. Make sure you comment down below. I'll try to answer whatever I can. Make sure you like the video if this did answer some questions for you, if this hit right on the head as far as the nail goes. And uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do regular vlogs at least three to five times a week. In this case, we shot two videos today just for the mini Jeep. So make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. It literally costs you no time at all just to click. Hit the, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know, if you don't want to watch the videos, turn the notifications off. If you want to see more of everything we've got going on here, 
and then hit the notification bell and you'll see all kinds of stuff. I've dropped a bunch of videos on my Harley Davidson that's turbocharged. You do not see that every single day. So that's one of my favorite toys right now. But again, uh, I hope this answered some questions for you. I thought it was a great idea to shoot this video. And uh, if I remember anything else, I'll try to shoot one more little cut answering whatever else I thought about on the fly. And uh, we'll leave the video there, I guess. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.